okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt, this ain't a phone. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the What's up, y'all? It's Elena, and I'm going to be reacting to The Office Season 2, Episode 3. Last episode was about sexual harassment, and they try to, like, teach everybody about that in The Office because I guess someone reported someone to HR, and they just had to make sure that everybody knew the policy and everybody was on track. But Michael was not happening. He wanted to keep making his jokes. He brought a whole sex doll in the office, y'all. It was it was a mess. It was a whole mess. And at the end of the episode, he ended up kissing Phyllis and, you know, you know, flirting with her a little bit. It was a lot, y'all. If y'all ain't seen my last reaction, go ahead and check that out. But if you want to see my full reaction to this episode, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Let's get into it. I'm an early bird and I'm a night owl. So I'm wise and I have worms. Wow. Oh, breakfast. I got okay. Egg and cheese biscuit. Yummy, yummy. That's how we're going to start this off. Ryan. What was the thing uh, you needed me to come in early for? Um, the sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. Oh, this is so unprofessional. Why don't I know he pissed. After my car till work starts. Okay. Hey. Help here. I'll watch those carbs. Why does Michael waste our time? <laughs> Today, I, Michael Scott, am becoming a homeowner, investing in real estate. Diversifying, okay. smart. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is very important to own property. Back in olden days, they would not even let you vote unless you own property, and they'd throw you mm -hmm. in the stocks and then humiliate you. And it worked. They yes. bring the stocks back. People who obey the law, there'd be less troublemakers. Maybe. <laughs> You see Dwight's coffee mug? Mm -hmm. Sometimes when he's not here, I try to throw stuff in it. No way. Let's do She's this. She's a menace. She's a menace to society. Oh. Here, try mm. paper clips. Oh, wait. This message for Dwight. Perfect. Oh, you should go. Mm. Yes, yes. Final walkthrough. Can I be a representative? I don't know. No. I think I should be there. No. no. No, I'm good. I can make sure things are up to no, code. Dwight. No, please. Fine. I'm always the guy that you rely on at work. Well, this isn't about work. This is closing on a condo. It's completely personal. I'll make you proud. Okay, fine. Yes, you can come. Yes, as your representative? As my associate. Same thing. <laughs> no, it is not. I have been Michael's number two guy for about five years. And we make Damn. a great team. Like, we're like one of those classic famous teams. I'm like Butch Cassidy. And Michael is like Mozart. You try and hurt Mozart, you're gonna get a bullet in your head. Courtesy Whoa. of Butch Cassidy. Oh, most honorable power. I think he's not offensive. A hundred percent serious. You headed out. You mess with Michael, you're gonna have a bullet in your head. So what are you doing? I wanna put what the are you top down. No, Dwight, it's fifty degrees outside. Don't you didn't even ask. See us. I just would you put it up? Okay. And this is why we didn't want to take you, Dwight. You're doing too much. Check it out. <laughs> Terminator. I do not understand what you spend your money on. Oh! oh! Sweet. Yes! <laughs> so close. I really love the uh, paper triangle flicking and hitting things game. Yeah. We call it hate ball. Why? <laughs> because of how much Angela hates it. Angela Can't hates everything. Any other game? Sometimes we play who can put the most M&Ms in their mouth. You play that. You should ask Toby. <laughs> Why he side-eyed her like that? My sanctuary, okay. my party pad. Someday I can just see my grandkids learning how to walk out here. Hang on. Swing from this tree, push them back. That's sweet, Michael. Right. No, it's this one right here. Home sweet home. Michael, this is Bill. He's the head of the condo association. Oh, hey, how are you? Nice to meet you, Bill. Bill, Mr. Bill. Oh, no! <laughs> Mr. Bill! <laughs> SNL. When they pull him apart, he would always get rolled over by something. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, yeah. too. This is smaller than your old place. 
Yes, well, I'm buying it and I'm not renting it. He doesn't know anything about property ownership. He's kind of an idiot. Um, <laughs> Actually, I do own property. My grandfather left me a 60-acre working beet farm. I run it with my cousin Moe's. We sell beets to local stores and restaurants. Okay. It's a nice little farm. Sometimes teenagers use it for sex. I bet they do, Dwight. Signs and papers. It's very accepting of all lifestyles. Oh, they think it's that they're gay. gay. Neighborhood. Oh, good. That's good. Yeah. It's good to be accommodating of, of that. Let's go check out the master bedroom. Oh, and Stanley. Just played Dunderball with Toby. What about you? You got any games? Yeah, I got a game. It's called Work Hard so my kids can go to college. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. <laughs> so that's the problem is what? Listen, listen. Can you hear that? Oh, man. These babies are thin. Yeah. No. You can't live there, Michael. That's too thin. Let the games begin. And then I just need you to sign here at this era. What kind of mortgage did you get? Uh, ten year. Well, ten over thirty, so thirty year total. What? What? You said ten. Ten year fixed. Over thirty, thirty year total. Oh, thirty years. Okay. Okay. Wow, Damn. you'll be paying this off in your mid-70s. Right. <laughs> nah. Forget about retiring when you're 65. Hey, you need to get yourself... You know that extra bedroom? If the whole girlfriend thing never happens, that's where the nurse can live. Okay. Oh my gosh, Dwight. <laughs> Do not okay, sign that. Uh, Don't sign ready. that bullshit. Whenever you're ready, Michael. Oh. Well, maybe it was a good idea to bring Dwight. The nap. Who will be challenging Kevin in Flunkerton? Anyone. I'll do it. Yes. Okay, do it. Phyllis. <laughs> Quick at it. <laughs> you just put your foot right through here, right through the flunk. The ceilings are lower than they were last week. That I don't, I don't know if you showed me what? this same unit or not. And Michael, where, this is the unit. Just say you don't want this mess. I want a price reduction, or I am a walking. You will lose seven thousand dollars if you walk away right now. Oh shit. It's Phyllis. It's Phyllis, Phyllis Byandos, gold medal in Flernington. Uh, Bunkerton. Thank you, delegate wow. from Iceland. <laughs> Stanley's like, what the hell? No one else should even try. Gold medals. Oh. Woo! Give him medals. Yeah. Wow. There's something else, Dwight, I want to talk to you about. I am going to let you move into my third bedroom and pay me rent. <gasps> um. Why did I do it? Because I believe in rewarding people for their efforts. Uh, I rewarded Dwight. I don't know if that's a good idea. Room. Where can I put my terrarium? What the hell is a terrarium? Yeah. It's a fish tank for snakes and lizards. Oh, so an aquarium. Of course it is. Uh, that of will course. not come into this place. Okay. Come on, Angela, don't you have a game? Mm, I have one, yes. I call it Pampon. I count how many times Jim gets up from his desk and goes to reception to talk to you. Oh. We're friends, apparently. Very nice. Not the best of friends, if you ask me. H.O. for Phyllis. Are you calling me a hoe? <laughs> oh, my God. Phyllis, coming alive. I like it. Question. I love it. What about carpooling? Uh, who pays for the gas? We take separate cars. Okay, question. Who's the primary on the fire insurance? <laughs> Game over! Offer revoked. I'm sorry. But you reach out and you try to be a nice guy. <laughs> Do I look like you're having a meltdown. This is what happened. This is what I get. Thank God. It was nice of him to offer, but I live in a nine-bedroom farmhouse. Oh. I have my own crossbow range. Two bathrooms would have been nice. We just have the one. And it's under the porch. Nine bedrooms, oh. one bathroom, and it's under the porch. Where'd you have time to make that? Automatic voicemail. All right, Pam. All right. <laughs> nice work. 
<laughs> Angela? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ron, are you buddy? You know, you can always refinance your mortgage. The time to beat is one minute, 15 oh, no, no, seconds. No, 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 Here they go, come. Ooh, I don't think Mike would even give a damn. Guys, that's my stopwatch. <laughs> Aww. Damn, Michael, you should have just, you should have took a house tour before. I think he did and he still did. Oh, Great. man. Yeah, I filled out the expense reports. That took about five minutes, and then I closed two sales at lunchtime. So. Well, look at you. About as productive as any other day. <laughs> I figured what? I could throw it away now, or I could keep it for a couple months and then throw it away. Oh, she mad? I mean, she looking really at you nice for the family. damn yogurt lids? What am I gonna do, Michael? Yeah, Jim, Slim Jim. What's going? What's going on? I thought I just wanted to congratulate you on your condo. Oh, thanks. Thanks. It's very cool. It's a uh, three-bedroom, gay-friendly. Nice. You know. Hey, would you mind coming out here for a second? I just have something for you. These are the closing ceremonies. Step up. Well, um, you're on the top one. Congratulations to Michael because he closed on his condo. So, gold medal. So sweet. I don't really know what to say, but uh, my heart is very full at this moment. And for Dwight Schrute, the silver medal. Okay, Dwight. Get up here, Dwight. Because your condo's in America. Oh. Okay, y'all. Y'all went all out for this damn Olympics. And why are you up there, Jim? What you did? Because you set this whole thing up. That ending was so cute. That ending was so cute. You could tell that Dwight really, like, he loved the award. And you could tell that Michael really, his heart was really full. Like, he started crying, y'all. That's so cute. Shout out Jim, even though he only did all this because he was bored. But shout out Jim for making everybody feel good. Um, Angela hates everything per usual. But at least we found out that she has her own little game, you know. She sits there and watches Jim go to Pam all day. And we all know that Jim be at Pam's desk all day. Like, it is clear as day that they're both in love with each other. So, they need to hurry up and speed this along and get together. Um, but I do feel bad for Michael because that was a shitty deal. I would never. First of all, I'm not buying nothing I have to share. That's just me personally. If it's okay with you, because I know... Um, Especially for older people, they tend to buy condos and stuff like that. Or like, they buy a house and they have roommates just so they can live together and take care of each other. You know, just to help each other out. Um, But me, in my life right now, the way I'm set up right now, I can't share nothing. It has to be mine. Both sides has to be mine. Or I would buy the whole thing and have people rent it out. But... For me to live in there and share it, nah. And then the walls are so thin. I can't do it, y'all. I can't do it. I like to sleep. I like to relax. I like to read and relax. And hearing all that noise, I can't do it. I'm sorry. But he signed the um the contract. Hopefully, he's a good businessman and know how to flip it. He'll probably, you know, rent it out or, you know, sell it to someone else. But hopefully, everything works out for you, Michael. But yeah, this episode was real cute. I really like this episode. Um, if you want to see my full reaction to this episode, though, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye. Hey, hey, okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt, this ain't a phone. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping.
keeping it cold, unlocking the door with the